Mr. Dmitry Prokhorov, and the uh, topic of this talk is import substitution of uh, CMS. I'll be discussing the domestic CMS and the vulnerabilities that we detected. Let me introduce myself. I break web uh, as part of the CyberOc tip, and I also um, post on the retail SX Nick. Uh, CMS that are you? What are they? Where do you look for them? Well, actually, first thing that comes to mind is Bitrix, but no, it's not that straightforward. There are lots of other CSMs, CMSs, sorry, and yes, most of these products are out of the box with the... Uh, and 30% of them are on the register of domestic software. Why does this matter? Well, in the software register, uh, usually you find the software that is purchased by the government. So the question arises, what about security? Actually, if you um, crawl the register, you will see that the vulner vulnerabilities uh, there are not listed. But uh, if uh, you look for vulnerabilities, you'll find them and you can uh, go to the vulnerabilities database uh, or by stack. Uh, organizations need uh, this information to build their threat models uh, for researchers. Uh, this is important in terms of ratings and CVs and also sometimes karma. A couple of words about interaction with Stack. Uh, there were several uh, drawbacks. One of the more interesting ones is that uh, WAF, responded to P WAF responded to POC, and I spent an hour to send two reports. First, I had to um, send a report to WAF, uh, and then uh, someone got in touch with me, and uh, everything else worked out, so yeah, it happened uh, basically on the same day. And uh, another thing is, there is uh, the, the uh, out of the um, um, pros, uh, excellent feedback and. Um, uh, constant monitoring whether all these. Uh, vulnerabilities were patched or not, etc. Now, we start with the fingerprinting printing, uh, collection and uh, we uh, study hashes, artifacts and certain uh, features of the uh, uh, CMSs. After we've uh, collected the inputs, we uh, need to understand what the SMs tell us. We've got this uh, tool in this product uh, the talks are more targeted, uh, focusing on uh, domestic uh, CMSs, and usually their uh, quality is slightly high. Unfortunately, Shodan did not uh, respond to us uh, at all. After that, we package everything, we automate it, and we uh, embed it into a, a template. Uh, you can, uh, well, the DLE is, is embedded, uh, you collect hashes, and the important thing is you can build your own workflow using WordPress, for instance. Now, let's turn to the more interesting component of this talk. Um, uh, no, uh, no tricky skills uh, here. We'll start with the white box. Uh, there is a, a CMS demo version. SAST is quite easy. And we, also, we need our hands in order to detect patterns for developers. SAM grab and text, sublime text, uh, all of this uh, works just fine. Very easy to use. What could we detect? Lots of stuff. Uh, over here you can see just some samples, non-typical time uh, jangling, and also uh, CSM attempts to uh, code, uh, to uh, encrypt their code. Going on to black box, uh, also no tricks here at all. You set up the CMS, the server, um, you upload the YAP version, you disable CSM defenses, and while you are working on this, you study the files, uh, HTFS composers, 
uh, after the composers, we've, uh, we were able to identify three vulnerabilities that went into the libraries, into the database, and they were patched. And it's, it's a good idea always to read the manual. Burp suit, Burp suit was uh, uh, at the core. Uh, we worked uh, in um, active live mode to collect maximum parameters and uh, another plugin to analyze queries to view CSRF, uh, roles, privileges, and leaks. Five minutes after active scanning, in one of the CMSs, we immediately identified an SQL injection inject, um, in the less obvious place. We also uh, guessed that various misconfigurations, uh, they uh, are not really the fault of the developer, but they do depend on the developer. Unfortunately, uh, our C CMSs do not remove all the uh, inst inst installation of files. Uh, hence, lots of various uh, vulnerabilities. Just a second. OK, OK, we're back online. And one more curious case. Almost every CMS has a shameful call, which leads to XSS attack, uh, reading QHP only, which is also bad. The results. The results are as follows. Uh, 28 reports were sent to the vulnerabilities database. You can see most of them uh, were concerned with administrative interface. 60% were high and critical, and 20% of them were left without authentication. It doesn't mean, well, we carried out some profound analysis. No, we just did a quick review. Uh, we just did a quick check of um, the level of security. In terms of good um, communication practice, the vendor responded to the regulator's request. They fixed everything quickly, and the average publication period was about a month. But uh, we also had negative uh, experience when the vendor does not respond, and the regulator is running after this uh, vendor uh, trying to catch it. Here, the problem is you need to um, introduce some mitigation measures. Unfortunately, this particular issue is not yet closed, but hopefully this um, uh, UMI CMS it will be fixed. In UMI CMS, by the way, I don't understand the vendor's position very well because they have a, a, the serious uh, uh, vulnerability related to data disclosure and data leaks and um, I offered them the service for free but they're still not interested. Uh, these vulnerabilities impact about 3,000 hosts which is also not a good um, idea. We have a bug bounty platform. The um, awards there are not too big, but still it's um, a nice thing to have. We have six more reports under triage. Uh, so as a takeaway, in terms of the process, there is a big need for transparency across the whole process of identif identifying and uh, fixing vulnerabilities between regulators, vendors, and researchers. Uh, there are about 18 vulnerabilities that we found, but uh, you don't read, you, do, you, do, you can't find this information in the uh, software register. And when you're making a choice uh, based on the information on this register, you might be making a terrible mistake. Now, on the vendor side, uh, at least you use uh, big autom a quick automatic scanner to scan your CMS. You can also participate in the bug bounty uh, because uh, ratings, not just money, but also ratings uh, is what attracts the hackers. And also you interact with the stack regulator. You can't avoid this interaction. And sometimes the regulators inform you of some something good. Uh, you get good news from them. And uh, on the researcher side, um, it's important to look at the scope not from the point of view of uh, automation, but rather from point of view of product or technology. 
Uh, it, uh, I know that uh, Headhunter uh, is looking for people who know how to work with the vulnerability databases on their CVs, so uh, this is yet another bonus for the researchers. Um, so thank you for your attention.